Coming at you hot with some year three breakouts that I'm really excited about acquiring in drafts that I absolutely think are going to smash their ADP. So let's get right into the episode. So let's start off with this year three breakout for Sky Moore. What? I am just kidding. No, I am not serious whatsoever. Sky Moore is not in this video, so please do not click out. It is Khalil Shakir, which I peg as my guy that's going to be a huge league winner. Now, Khalil Shakir, man, he's going in the ninth round right now. The second Buffalo wide receiver off the board. He is a guy that can pretty much do everything. He's your all-around wide receiver that you love to have on your roster. I mean, look, you could play him close to the line of scrimmage. He has the ability to create after the catch. He's so creative after he gets the ball in his hands and try to make the first man miss. He also could be a security blanket in the middle of the field. We know he plays the slot position, and we also know how much Josh Allen loves targeting that position as well. He has reliable hands. The dude has an 83% catch rate last season, so obviously he's a guy that takes advantage of the small limited time that he had on the field, you know, in the first beginning of the season to be able to be a guy that Josh Allen can absolutely trust. You can also target him downfield, man. He had a 15.7 yards per reception in 2023. This guy can pretty much do everything. Joe Brady has expressed his excitement about Khalil Shakir last season in the time that he had with him, and he had nine games with Khalil Shakir to really break out, to really have him develop and to be this all-around wide receiver that we know he can be. Now, with Ken Dorsey starting the season off as the Bills offensive coordinator, in those 10 games, Khalil Shakir only averaged five fantasy points per game with only 38 percent of the snaps once he was fired though and joe brady stepped in khalil shakir actually led the buffalo bills in points per game and in yards per game 10.3 fantasy points per game averaging 48.7 receiving yards per game to finish out that season that is something amazing to see for a guy like khalil shakir going into his third year where this could potentially be a breakout season for him he's shown his ability to be productive in limited times a two 0.05 yards per route and I definitely think that is worth noting being that this guy has opened up with a new offensive coordinator coming in that knows how to deploy him with Gabe Davis and Stefan Diggs out of the way clear as day I feel as though Khalil Shakir should be an absolute gem in those later targets to smash his ADP a big year is in store for Drake London, who's going in those early second rounds where I feel as though not only did they get a big QB upgrade with Kirk Cousins and Michael Penix, but the offensive scheme is completely different. And they're coming from a Sean McVay tree, Zach Robinson and Raheem Morris, that has a clear understanding of how an offense should look and how it should be able to drive down the field and create a lot of scoring opportunities. Drake London obviously being capped off for Arthur Smith in the past with his offensive scheme, only being capped at 10 fantasy points per game these last couple seasons but even being capped off with that offensive scheme he's shown a lot of productivity in a lot of areas that you should be taking notice of he's been top 15 in red zone targets he's top 20 in yards per route top 25 in receiving yard first downs and top 25 in receptions of 20 plus yards so he is being uh, utilized at a good rate even with the author smith you know capping out system boring system i should say where you're going into this year where you have a qb upgrade and offensive scheme upgrade where you have two quarterbacks and panics and kirk cousins that are fairly accurate that know how to get you the ball and especially with him being a target earner i really love drake london in this year three breakout a breakout season is on the way for brian robinson jr and i absolutely love to be able to grab him in these late rounds the 10th round is currently where he's living and breathing that's one round before austin eckler but man this cliff kingsbury very offensive scheme is the perfect fit for Brian Robinson Jr. Now, a little bit about Cliff's offensive scheme where you have Jaden Daniels that you have to respect him as a runner as well as a pass thrower. He's a really strong pocket passer that can really stretch the field as well. Now, with this offensive scheme that Cliff Kingsbury is coming over for the Commanders, it's a spread offense that uses multiple wide receivers, and I really feel as though this is going to stretch out the defenses where they have to cover a lot of the field, which means less people in the middle of the field, which opens up more running lanes for Brian Robinson Jr. In between the tackles, he was pretty solid last year with only a 9% stuff rate where Austin Eckler had a 16.7% stuff rate in between the tackles. Brian Robinson Jr. is a guy that can also be utilized in the passing game as well. Dan Quinn in a recent press conference just mentioned that he found success in previous seasons and also showed flashes in spring camps. He is a guy you definitely want to target, man. I'm telling you right now, he could potentially be a solid RB2 for you that you're getting in the late rounds. I absolutely think this year three breakout is actually real. 
So that wraps up another great episode of Rotor Baller Fantasy Sports YouTube channel. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe and head to the website and use my promo code FIRE to sign up today to get 10% off your subscription. And listen, man, you guys can follow me on Real Deal Fantasy on all social media platforms, on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I'm telling you, I'm there. I'm trying to get my followers up so I can get this FIRE content to you guys each and every week. So I'll see you guys next week for another great episode.